making peace with the Taliban. On Wednesday, Afghan President Hamid Karzai gave his blessing to U.S. efforts to talk to the Taliban. Karzai's office released a statement saying that the talks could save Afghanistan from, quote, conflict, conspiracy, and the killings of innocent people. Senior U.S. officials told Reuters last month that after 10 months, talks with the Taliban had reached a critical juncture and they would soon know if a breakthrough was possible. Now the Taliban plans to open an office in Qatar. Brigadier General Karsten Jakobsen is the spokesman for the International Security Assistance Force, or ISAF. Well, ISAF uh, is aware of the fact that victory over the insurgency will not be won on the battlefield alone. At the end of the day, we do need reconciliation. At the end, we need a political outcome uh, to end the insurgency. So ISAF will support anything that uh, has to be done to come to a political conclusion as well as continuing the military campaign. He says while an agreement with the Taliban leadership may not end the violence, it will make it containable. And they will be the ones who have to call the halt to the shots. If that happens, there will still be violence and parts, but it will become very easily controllable. So therefore, we are at a corner where political negotiations, where actions on the side of the Taliban might lead to an end of the overall violence. But this is a process. This is a process that we have to go through. The role that ISAF has to play in this is a very clear military campaign, continuous against the insurgency, relentless in the pursuit of the insurgents, and very clearly targeted on bringing security and stability to more and more regions of Afghanistan. The call for a permanent international address for the Taliban came after a series of failed efforts towards talks by Afghans and their Western allies, some of them with interlocutors who turned out to be frauds. As part of the accelerating high-stakes diplomacy, the United States is considering the transfer of several high-profile Taliban prisoners from Guantanamo Bay into Afghan custody. Deborah Luderbeck, Reuters.